London, 5 a.m. Westminster. The embankment. A boulevard or a bedroom, depending how fate dealt its hand. For those of us who are not asleep, it's a time to love, pray, hate, argue, cheat, sometimes even kill. I can't. It is very simple what we ask. No, it's impossible. Just two minutes of your time, that is all? The answer's no. Don't write to me again. Think it over. You'll change your mind. Give it to me, will you, please? Look, There's it's no need to push. Letter. I'm sure that... Will you give it to me? I strongly advise against that. Now, watch the trouble, gentlemen. There's no trouble at all, officer, this, sir. Uh... Now, just a moment, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Look, I haven't done anything. No need to run, then, is there, sir? Ah, just a matter of routine. Would you mind identifying yourself? Why? Because I asked you to. Your driving license will do. Thank you, sir. Eric Redman? Still at this address? Yes. The uh, gentleman's letter blew out of his hand. I put my foot on it. He was frightened of losing it and got upset. That's all that happened. Thank you, sir. Um, may I go now? Of course. Well, what about me, officer? Don't you want my identification? Not necessary at all, sir. It's my job to recognize notorious people like Simon Templer. <laughs> Mr. Edmund. You've got to sign out, sir. Find what you wanted, sir. Uh, no. Thank you. British European Airways announced the departure of their flight number BE 628 to Berlin. Sorry, I'm late. Major Carter, thanks for the tickets, I hear. Didn't know you enjoyed tennis. No, I don't terribly. Wimbledon isn't what it used to be. Yeah. 
hear you ran into Eric Redman yesterday. Who? Eric Redman. At five in the morning, on the embankment. How do you know? Routine police report. Redman works in the Foreign Office. So? He skipped. He's what? Disappeared. With a top secret file. Oh, huh? what's in the file? The names, covers, and codes of the 81 operators in our East German network. Yes, bad show. 40, 30. Where do you think Redman's gone? Berlin, we think. We're not sure. That's where you come in. Now, wait a minute. Our number one in West Berlin is a chap named Schwerin. 35 Gorterstrasse. Like you'd pop over and see him. What for? Look at a few photographs. Identify Redmond, that's all. Why me? One of the operators in our East German network has so much as laid eyes on Redmond. You saw him face to face yesterday morning. And you got a seat on the 3.30 plane to Berlin. You are sure this is a man you saw with Redman in London? Positive. If you will wait, please, I will tell Herr Schwerens that you are here. Thank you. You have the appointment. Thank you, Fräulein Baum. I will take care of Mr. Templer. His name is not in the book. He made the appointment with me, uh, directly. If it is not written down, Herr Schwerens, I cannot keep... That is all, Fräulein. Thank you. If you will sit, please, Mr. Templer. Thank you. We will not keep you long. Allow me. There. It's good. Will you be so good as to read for me the top line? A Y P T. And the second row? R F 9 S. And uh, the third row? M L O 2. She is a plant, that one, I could almost swear. Now listen carefully. We think Redman took this morning's train to Leipzig. We had an operator at the ticket barrier. She photographed every man who resembled the cable description. Why Leipzig? Because in Leipzig is living Redmond's papa. Well, Redmond's English. No, born in Leipzig. The only child of Professor Ottoman. An important chemist, many inventions. During the war, the professor was anti-Nazi. Hitler spared his life only because his chemical work is so important. Oh, wait, let me see the last one again. That is Redman? No, sorry. Before the war, the professor had his son smuggled out of Germany to England by a friend in the diplomatic corps. The boy was brought up in London. He even changed his name to Redman, the English version. Throughout the years, father and son kept in touch. The professor had wanted to come over to the West, but always the other side say no. Uh, now they're going to say yes? That is what I think. So Redmond hands over the file, they hand over Dad. Yes. That's him. You are sure? Positive. Then we know he's in Leipzig. And I have the professor's address. Oh, well, that's that. Here is your passport and a skateboard if you should need it, and details of your cover. My what? You are working for Bartner Smith of Birmingham. 
precision lenses. Now, what do you mean, my cover? Not too loud. You are going to Leipzig. Oh, no, I'm not, my friend. I'm going to London. Major Carter asked me to come here, identify Redmond, and I've done it. Major Carter said you are going to Leipzig. Destroy the file and bring Redmond back. You did it, eh? Herr Templer, that file means life or death to 81 operatives. Men and women who have courage and who are now in great danger. I have a ticket for you tonight. The Berlin Leipzig Express. Surely, you will not refuse. Okay, I'm hooked, which is exactly what Carter wanted. I wish you, my hair, a most fruitful journey. Thank you. <laughs> This compartment is occupied. This is an English Herr. I had the park out of your office. It took me a force by light. Uh, what seems to be the problem, gentlemen? I expected to occupy this compartment alone. So did I. We both seem out of luck. Thank you, that's all. Uh, thank you, sir. I wish to see your ticket. Why, are you the uh, conductor? I'm Colonel Kurt Probst, security section, Leipzig Division, People's Police. Your ticket and your passport. You are Neville Franklin Forbes. Correct. Your East German visa is in order. Well, tell me more. Do you read palms? We do not treat regulations lightly. What do you take lightly, Colonel? Why are you going to Leipzig, Mr. Forbes? I've been invited to attend the Leipzig Trades Fair. I wish you a pleasant journey. I can tell it's going to be a million laughs. What is the name of your company, Mr. Forbes? Uh, Varden and Smith, Birmingham. It is impossible. It is? Varden and Smith. Optical lenses. Correct. But I know your company most well, Mr. Forbes. You do? Yeah, yeah. Until the war, my family owned the Probst Optical Works of Dresden. As a young man, I visited frequently your factory. Really? Oh, my father knew Herr Varden most intimately. I suppose now he's dead. Oh, yes, yes. And uh, Dr. Wagner, is he still with you? Oh, yes, he's still with us. Mm. His work on interferometry is remarkable. It is um, a most elegant subject. You think so? Oh, I do think so. I mean, elegant in the sense that with such a great economy of means, you achieve such remarkable results. Exactly. Yeah. Essen ist jetzt in Spicewagen serviert. Oh, I never eat on the train. The food is furchtbar terrible. Oh, is that what he said dinner? Yeah. I suppose your people, they are still working on uh, microphotometry. Yes, well, I didn't have any lunch, so I uh, think I'll go and have some dinner. Oh, well, I will come to have with you a beer and see that they serve you well. Oh, no, it's really not necessary. Oh, no, no, no trouble, my friend. We will uh, continue our so interesting conversation. Oh, yes. I... Make sure of a table for two. Thank you.
They promise my father's freedom in exchange for the file. It's a lie from start to finish. They knew he was dead when they made the offer. Please, Eric, let us go home. He smuggled me out of Germany into England. Risked his life a dozen times in the process. So when I had the chance to get him out, I took it. Well, he was an old man, tired, worn out. They said I could take him home where he could spend the rest of his days in peace. He is in peace. Oh, I, I got it out without anybody knowing. And I can put it back without anybody knowing. If you get to London alive. I will. Suppose the file has already been missed. Yeah. Yes, well, that's a chance I just have to take. I mean, sometimes a month can go by without anyone consulting it. Eric, take me with you, please. I did not mind so much living here when I was working with your father. Now I want to get out. Have you got a visa? No. Any money? I thought perhaps you could. <laughs> All I've got is my ticket and less than 200 marks. I'm sorry. It does not matter. Somehow I'll manage. Eric? Who is he? The people's police. I was supposed to contact him in Berlin. But I wanted to see my father first. Look, I want you to take this for me. But where? Anywhere. Just hide it. Now, come on, hurry up. See me back here tonight at seven. Seven o'clock. Fräulein? May I apologize for my colleague's bad manners? Hans! Try and find the Connecticut Fräulein a taxi. It is not necessary. You are much too pretty to do such things for yourself. I knew my father was dead when you made the offer. Your father's death gave us the idea. You liars, cheats and liars. Please, Redmond, your father's death is a statistic, not a national tragedy. Have you the file? We have outraged Mr. Redmond's sense of fair play. <laughs> How British you have become. The Marquis of Queensbury rules, even in a fight to the death. Now, where is the file? I haven't got it. Don't try and play games with us. You can't possibly win. I didn't bring it with me. Start looking. You're wasting your time. I wanted to make sure that my father was well and still wanted to come over to the West. You are lying. London knows the file is missing. Well, uh, they couldn't. And it is missing because you took it. Now, if you don't hand it over to us, the only way you'll get out of Leipzig will be in a coffin. And dying can be made very unpleasant. So can living. Are you uh, moving out or have you lost something? What do you want? Oh, a mutual friend in London asked me to look up Professor Rotterman. Who are you? We are security section of the People's Police. <laughs> you know, there are more People's Police in the German Democratic Republic than there are People's People. Your passport, please. Your name is Forbes? Well, you can read. Marvellous. 
Mitch. Look. The girl in the hall. With the suitcase. Who is she? I don't know. She told the taxi driver. Not here. Come. As a matter of interest, who is she? Her name's Anya Lintz. She used to work for my father. Doesn't she know? No. No, my father's dead. She told the taxi driver at the railway station. Hurry, Fred. You happened to be on the embankment at five in the morning. Walking home after a party. And now you're working for Carter. He wants you back in London and the file destroyed. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet he does. You can fight it if you like, but you're coming with me. Some choice. If I stay here, they'll shoot me. If I go back to London, they'll give me 15 years. What do you expect when you sell your country out? The MBE? I did this for my father. I mean, he's an old man, tired, worn out. I did I'm it because I thought... I'm not your confessor. Where's Anya Lynn's gone? Well, she's working at the Leipzig Trade Fair. Covers a lot of ground. And the home furnishings building. Is that where she's taking the suitcase? I don't know. I told her to hide it somewhere, anywhere. There she is, without the suitcase. She's put it in left luggage. Then she'll have the check, won't she? Fritz, follow her. Yes. What do you want? I'm a friend of Eric Redmond's. Uh, who is he? Miss Lentz, I don't have any time for games. Eric Redmond gave you a suitcase. I want it. Where is it? I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't know any Eric Redmond. You're meeting him tonight at his father's flat at 7 o'clock. No, I wouldn't know that unless he told me, would I? Please leave me alone. I have some work to do. Oh, oh bye to find that suitcase and destroy a file that's in it. Then get Eric Redmond back to England. Now, where is it? You will never make it. Now, please leave me. I cannot help you. Miss Lewis, for the love. If they see me talking to you, they will arrest me. But why? Please, kindly come with us, please. You've done nothing, I swear. Hendo. Sie sind verhaftet. I beg your pardon. You are under arrest. 
I am sorry, Herr Forbes, that we meet again in unpleasant circumstances. Perhaps you would care to explain. Perhaps I would care to explain? Perhaps you would care to explain. I was going peacefully about my business when, when I was attacked by your men without the slightest provocation. How do you mean, attacked? I was struck repeatedly. Then I was arrested at gunpoint by six of your train baboons. Six? We were no dry, Oberst. Speak in English. There was three of us only, Herr Colonel. There were six. Three in uniform and three in plain clothes. He's lying. We have no plain clothes security officers at the fair. Uniform division only. Oh, you were there. You saw them. It's true, Herr Colonel. There were three civilians fighting with the Englishmen. And these men, these civilians, can you describe them? I can go better than that. I can name one of them. Metz. Metz. Bring me the file on Rudolf Metz. If he's a man we think he is, he's a notorious, what you call in English, confidence trickster. A swindler. We've had our eye on him for some time. But we have not been able to get the evidence to convict. But now, with your help, perhaps, we shall have success. Yes. We will have him before dark, I think. We know his usual haunts. It will be helpful if you will testify. Of course. I am sorry that your stay in Leipzig has been disturbed. My apologies. Why? Free to go? Of course, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your visit. Thank you. Oh. My passport. I think it will be quite safe here. You can collect it on the day of your departure. And what do you think of our Herr Forbes? I'm not sure. I am. He's lying. Follow him and report every move to me. Tanya. I thought she was here. Oh, she's 20 minutes late. Something must have happened. You're so right. What do you mean? Your friend Metz, a phony. Phony? No more people's police than you are. But he contacted me in London. He arranged everything, my father, in exchange for the file. A competence trickster. It was a setup. Oh, for what reason? Some private deal of his own. I should imagine the Colonel Prop says him right now. They'll uh, work him over a little, and he'll talk. I... no more. I, I will tell you everything. Lassen Sie ihn. It was a planned operation. Please, can I have some coffee, please? Go on. A month ago, Redmond's father died, so I went to London. Why? To persuade him uh, to work for me. You see, I knew of the existence of that file. And what is in it? The names and the covers of all the operatives in the British East German Espionage Network. Which, of course, you intended to sell. Go on. I posed as a member of the People's Police, the security section. I guaranteed, Redmond, his father's release. After his father was dead? Yes. Congratulations. Redmond agreed to bring the file to Leipzig. And did he? I... I, I think so. I... I haven't actually seen it. Where is the file? Ah. Where is the file now? I don't know. <laughs> ah! Ah! You are not dealing with an amateur, comrade. Now, let us try again. Where is the file? I, I think it is in a suitcase. Checked at the left luggage office of the railway station. Realize the immense importance of this file? Completely. The exposure of every British intelligence agent. Have 
you've seen this man before? Yes, I, I think he is in British intelligence. I am sure of it. I'll alert the station police straight away. No. Go yourself and take complete charge. I will join you in 20 minutes. Very well. Anya, do you realize what time it is? I'm late, I know. Where's the file? Anya, where did you leave it? I will not tell you. Now, Anya, where's the file? I will not tell you unless... Unless what? Take me with you, please. I do not want to live here anymore. Don't have to blackmail us. You mean you will take me with you? Where did you leave the case? Oh, I, I checked it in the left luggage office of the railway station. What does it look like? Uh, it's brown, battered. It's got my initials on it. The handle's been repaired with rope. Wait here, Bonnie. But, Eric, I was seen. By whom? By Metz, the man who tried to arrest me. Never talked. The station will be crawling with police. Is there a back way out of here? Not yet. Then we will open every piece of luggage that has been checked. If you wish. We'll give it half an hour. Keep your hands up, please. My compliments on your technique. That we broke your cover was an accident. Max talked interminably. Now...
it? Yes. But this car? On loan from the police. Here, turn on the map light. That was an escape route for your hearts. What is the number of your police car? PL1A. You will pay for your incompetence. This is an all-car alert. Watch out for a black four-door official police car. Registration number PL1A. Occupants are to be shot on sight. So hot it's burning. Police car registration PL1A, seen Menstrasse 2200 hours. They're making for the hats. Is that a police car, Sergeant? Yes, Major. It was seen on the Hart Road. Why was it not stopped? We have no report of that, Colonel. Order an alert at the border barrier at Hart's. Major! What is it? An accident! Lady up, Major. Eric, get the guns. I don't know who you are, but you'll never get away with it. I'm telling you. Well, Major, we'll uh, try not to be a discredit to the service. We've made it. Not quite. We've still got the border crossing at Hearts. What's this? Well, how very friendly of them. They can't be more than 15 minutes ahead. Well, the border's just ahead. Good. We'd better turn off the road. Here. Take on, you follow the road in that direction, keep you to the bushes. When you get to the barrier, wait for my signal.
happening? What is he doing? Lieutenant, I uh, presume you have heard there are two English spies in the company of a woman trying to cross the border to the west. Yeah, hey, Major. They are both heavily armed, but we uh, want them alive. Under no circumstances are you to shoot at them. You understand? Yeah, Major. Good. Excuse me, Herr Major. Lieutenant Schmidt? Yeah? Yeah? You've done that? Get through to Leipzig and tell them what you're doing. Get back to your post. They were seen in Eisenbahn an hour ago. So be on the alert. These men are dangerous. They will be caught. They will kill us. They're not across yet. Spread out. Search for them. Yes, Colonel. They are to be shot on sight. Nein. Keep back. Come on. Hold it. Go quick. the other side, they can't touch us. We're the other side now, Eric. We can get help. It's, it's 
too late, Templar. The paper chase. 